friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a feco under topical anesthesia the main challenge is the patient has very narrow palpebral fissure and the patient is moving his eye a lot let us observe the surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now visco is injected into the anterior chamber and it is spread over the corneal epithelium and now one paracentesis is to be done and here it is about two and a half clock hours away from the main incision on the left side and now capsulorexis the anterior capsule is being incised with a 26 case bent needle now i take a uterata forceps hold this capsular tag go anticlockwise all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and thus I get a fairly round continuous curvilinear capsular axis and now hydro dissection is to be done fluid wave is passed under the anterior capsular rim fluid wave goes to the opposite equator the nucleus is belotted and then the nucleus is rotated now some more visco is injected into the anterior chamber we can see that the nuclear sclerosis of this cataract is grade 3 or grade 3 plus the machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 here goes the FACO tip inside the eye the air bubble is removed, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now this is direct chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and as it crosses the central part the nucleus is chopped and now the nucleus is rotated, chopped at another place. The free nuclear fragment is emulsified and engulfed. And now this is another piece. It is also emulsified and removed. Now this is the other heminucleus, it is chopped into pieces. Fico power used in this case is 65%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last portion of the nucleus and this is the epinucleus. See the followability of the machine beautiful but one nuclear fragment is hiding just beneath the sideboard and now cortical cleanup is being done with the help of a 23g simco because there is only one sideboard one can use a quick shell ia for this purpose when there is only one side port, bimanual irrigation aspiration cannot be used. And now, in this case, a hydrophobic acrylic single piece intraocular lens has been selected. Before implanting that, Hydro polish of the posterior capsule is done, but there is a fibrous plaque just at the center of the posterior capsule. We have to use ER glazer to make an opening in the posterior capsule after a few weeks. Now, this is hydro implantation. A small nuclear piece is floating in the anterior chamber. See how it can be removed. Be in irrigation. Use a Sinsky hook. 
and depress the posterior leaf remain on and it comes out there's some cotton fibers also those also came out and now the lens is tiled with the irrigating probe whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge has come out and now the side port is to be closed corneal stroma on either side of this side port is hydrated the lips of the side port becomes thick and the opening closes and becomes watertight and now this is the final lavage of the interior chamber a gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium at this time and whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out and then the antechamber is formed very nicely the integrity of the wounds are checked by cotton taped Janssen bard the intraocular pressure is filled digitally and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love respect compassion and great surgical competence